there when we literally walked past this next 50-year-old single mum busking in Perth and we just couldn't take another step. Little did Fiona Mariah know, her life was about to take an interesting turn that day. How did you end up here? I was doing a bit of busking in Fremantle and one of your producers says, how would you like to be on Australia's Got Talent? So I've I'm had, right. what, um, 12 hours to prepare. Wow. <laughs> To see an audience get to their feet was absolutely thrilling. I wasn't expecting anything like this. There I was, just busking. I was at the lowest point I've been in, I think, my entire life. I was on the verge of giving up my singing career. Now here I am, singing for millions of people. I was born in rural Western Australia. I was very lucky in that my father loved music and he gave me my love of singing. And it wasn't really until I'd left high school that I started studying singing and decided to go to London. Even though I was singing with opera companies, it really wasn't enough to support me. So busking for 18 years has been my main way of supporting myself. And now that I do have a son who I'm raising on my own, your priorities certainly do change. You have to devote your time and energies and your love to your child. Fiona came home to raise her son and she put her whole life on hold, so I hope Australia falls in love with her just like we did. This opportunity that I've been given has just given me an enormous amount of hope for the future. Suddenly I feel like there is light at the end of the tunnel. Doing a Righteous Brothers mega hit, please welcome Busking's biggest voice, Fiona Mariah, everyone. Fantastic. Well, you were the accidental discovery we all <laughs> dreamt of. Um, huge headlines you made when we, when we had you, of course, in our auditions. What was it like being, of all things, compared to Susan Boyle? Well, it was quite a surprise, but I'm delighted. If that's what people want to think of me as, I am happy to go with that. And how did that go? Very well. I think it went very well. Beautiful. Well, it's these guys would like to talk about that exact performance before the public votes for you as well. Pilots, kick off with you, young man. I've been mistaken for Susan Boyle too, so I'm glad you like <laughs> For me, not so much. Um, look, I really love that song. At one stage, I just wanted to grab Danny and do the old pottery thing. <laughs> you know, the new hair and everything. She looked like she could go there. Yeah. Um, look, 
the first time we saw you, everyone leaped to their feet and there was a huge standing ovation and, and you felt the electricity in the room. Um, we didn't have the standing ovation tonight, so to me that means they didn't enjoy it as much. However, it's a very different song and you sung it beautifully. As I said the first time, I'm no opera buff, um, but I, I did enjoy it and I think you're amazingly talented and what's it feel like to be up on the big stage? Very daunting, I must admit. It is rather um, daunting, I think, is the word. Yeah. Did the smoke interfere? Because I saw the smoke and I thought, hey, she's going for the big note and the big waft of smoke went in your face. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. Oh, good. Well, well done. You should be very pleased with yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Brian. I, I was blown away by your original audition. Um, I thought it was amazing, dramatic. For me, I was really disappointed with that performance. I found it underwhelming. Um, I don't think it's necessarily that to do with your voice. I just think you didn't recreate the drama you created in your first audition. Um, it started really slow. It took a long time for you to get to those big notes, which is, which is what made us stand on our feet the last time. Yes. And you really only got that at the end. And to be honest with you, by the time you got there, I was kind of over the performance. Um, to me, I put it down to possibly a bad song choice. I, I just didn't think it was anywhere near as good as your first audition. Okay. Sorry. How about you, Danny? I, I have to agree with the other guys. It was something that didn't sit right. And for you to bring opera and make it really commercial and really wow and, and get us the way that you did in the first performance, that song choice has got to be right. But also, you've got to put your personality into it. And I think you can know from the audience reaction is that we love you and we think you're a good singer. We had just got to get that song choice right so that people who don't like opera go, wow, every single yeah. time. And never let nerves get you because you know you can do this. You're good enough for that big stage. Just quickly, I can't believe that uh, your local council tried to ban you from performing in your area. Have you cleared that matter up yet? Well, no, it is still under dispute and I'm just taking it easy. I took some time out to concentrate on the competition, but don't worry, I'll be back there and then it all starts all over again. Well done. Great performance tonight. We really enjoyed it. And if you did as well, you can vote for Fiona and put her through to the grand final by uh, using the buttons on your telephone because the voting lines are indeed open. Let's not forget that. You can call 1902 55333 or by SMSing Fiona to 199 77772. The best of luck. We can't wait to see you again. Thank you. Well done.